December 28th. It's 6.47 a.m. and my family and I are headed to New Orleans for a few days. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog this trip, but if I did, I wanted to make sure that I had a proper intro. <laughs> so um, you guys are gonna go with us on our trip to New Orleans. It's gonna be hashtag New Year in New Orleans. So be sure to join us on our family trip. Hey guys. So we ended up getting here a little bit early and the maids are still cleaning our room. Um, we're about an hour early, so hopefully they won't take a whole hour to finish cleaning it. So we're out here waiting. <laughs> Hubby's getting the bags, but as soon as he gets the bags, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of where we'll be for the next few days here in New Orleans. So you guys will see all that in just a bit. All right, so now that we're in, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of where we're gonna be staying. So let's go. Today's weather is beautiful. Definitely be checking this out. You don't need a coat or anything. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm trying out a place I've never been to or heard of called Daisy Maze. Um, it looks like it's supposed to have good chicken and waffles with like a fan at. And uh, we'll see. I'll show you what the food looks like when it actually gets here. Got an Arnold Palmer. I love my Arnold Palmers. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna be all this chicken. <laughs> it's like really big, uh, big portions. We'll see if it's good. So I'm back, as you guys see, we just came back from Daisy May's um, restaurant. It was really good. I like the flavor of the chicken and the waffles. It was really good. And they give you really huge portions. <laughs> we actually have a ton of it in our little fridge here because there's so much um, of it because of the size of everything. So um, it's supposed to be like some kind of championship or playoffs or something. Something child, I don't know. My husband's getting ready to watch games for the rest of the day and we're gonna chill because today was a travel day. And then tomorrow we're gonna get up early and we're gonna explore the city a little bit more. And then we're going to the game tomorrow night. We have tickets to the Pelicans game. So we're gonna go see the Pelicans play the Houston Rockets tomorrow. Here's because I know my husband is a huge sports fan, especially basketball. So we're excited about being able to do that. He has this mission that he wants to see every arena and every stadium in football and basketball. So. This weekend or this time here, we're actually gonna be able to scratch another um, little stadium or arena off of our list. So far we've been to Orlando, we've seen Orlando, um, the Orlando Magic, of course the Atlanta Hawks, we live in Atlanta, Memphis Grizzlies, Washington Wizards, uh, Philadelphia 76ers, and today we're gonna, well tomorrow we're gonna finally see the New Orleans Pelicans. So we're knocking that off our list as well. So anyway, it's been a great day so far, even though it's been a travel day, but for the rest of the day, we're gonna relax. I have my favorite snack of choice. Let me show y'all what my favorite snack of choice is. These. Has to be Frito-Lay. I love these, I eat these. Look at it. I have a bag full of them. Those are my favorite snacks. I'm gonna eat that, chill watch my little shows and stuff like that. I saved a show to binge watch on this trip. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow. I don't think we're going anyplace else tonight, but it is four o'clock for their local time. So it's still early, but we'll see. Most likely because my husband and I are old, <laughs> you'll see us tomorrow. And I created my own club.
job on this corner. <laughs> Good morning, this is New Orleans day two. Um, I just woke up, <laughs> hubby and I are awake and my daughter Kaya is awake, but my other two daughters are asleep. Um, the time zone difference messed me up a little bit. Well, not messed me up, but I was up early because it's an hour difference. So I was up at 7.27 their time. Um, but the plan today, hopefully, is to get some gumbo. I really want to try some gumbo here, try a new restaurant for some gumbo. I also want to go and take the girls to Cafe Du Monde to get some beignets and hot chocolate. Uh, we're also going to a basketball game tonight. We're going to be watching the Pelicans play the Houston Rockets tonight. So that's going to be fun. Um, other than that, we're just going to explore and eat. And hopefully you guys will be able to see different places to eat in case you're coming here. That would be fun to kind of make it, you know, educational and <laughs> not just for entertainment value. But if you see something that you like, you might be like, okay, next time I go to New Orleans, I should try that place or try this. So that's the plan for today. The weather looks a little bit gloomy, but that's fine because we just really want to just try different foods and hang out as a family and all of that. So that's the plan for today. Wait, that counts? Yeah. That has to be the same card. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Am I being cheated? We're not doing that. <laughs> we don't play oh, that. Man. Good catch, y'all. Somebody <laughs> didn't shuffle these cards. You! You! Them. you. That's how people act when they think they're going to win. That's how they act when they think they're going to win. Get it, Bree Bree. Stop that. Come on, Bree Bree. You must have something. You got to have something we can use. Please. You got a three or something, Bree? Right there. I don't believe him. I'm not sure, guys. Come on, but, come on, Taya. You should be winning. We said you beat me all the time whenever we're playing Uno. You should see her. Wait, I can't help you. <laughs> no. We're in the end game now. Show off. We're in the end game now. That has Thanos, guys. What color? Hey! What color is she going to pick?
it. Yana is a chicken connoisseur. So I'm about to go try, where put my chicken at? Okay. I'm about to go try this piece of chicken right here, Woo! which looks well seasoned. There's so much salt and pepper, I can hear it yelling, push it. All right, so you guys really haven't seen me that much today. Today's journey has been all about. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog right here. And at least for today. And next time you guys see me, it'll be a new day. It'll be day three. But we've had a great time so far. The game was fun. We had a really good time. So I'm ready to eat my little food and relax and chill. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. That is the end of day two. Mission completa. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning and welcome to day three in New Orleans. I'm currently waiting on my husband today, but the weather is the prettiest since we've been here. So we're gonna be taking you guys around with us today. We're gonna be working from uh, a little coffee shop today. We both bought some work for us to do. I know, somewhat workaholics, but we're working on projects that we actually like, so that's exciting for us. And I think we're gonna take the girls to Cafe Du Monde again to get some beignets. They went the last time we were here in New Orleans, but the prettiest day, since I've been here. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day. So you guys are gonna come with us. Hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. Again, this is New Orleans day three. Hey guys, so the mission for today is to try out some more restaurants. So I asked Hubby to look it up and he said, he wants to try out restaurants that were good enough for Beyonce. Um, is that, is that I, did not, I did not say that. <laughs> we'll see. I go to the place that Beyonce went to. That's it. See? So I don't know why my husband and I came all the way to New Orleans just to discover that we like Jamba Juice. Never had Jamba Juice before. This is my husband's second acai bowl. Ooh, with coconut there? Mm, he got coconut, strawberry, and all that in there. I got this one, and I really like this. Now, I'm, I told you guys in my previous vlog that I like to have toppings on my stuff, and I would normally want like syrup. This has no syrup on it, but it's sweet enough, and like the syrup's like inside, really good. And then we went to back to baby days and got the girls pancakes, because that's what the girls like. <laughs> just come, come, come catch the football. That's all you need. That's all we need from you. you know, these New Orleans women to get them right, though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave the white women alone. He said um, on his Instagram, he said, no more white women in 2020. Mm. <laughs> he said that? Yeah, he put that on his Instagram. Wow, no, they mad about that. He was stupid. The day he turned around, <laughs> then he turned around and posted a picture of him with another white girl and said, it's not 2020 yet. He said, mm. <laughs> okay, so we're here. Now, this is the place that Beyonce ate at. This is Dookie Chase. Um, <laughs> but to go inside, try the food for the first time. We just had a lit Uber. He was super, super nice. I'll tell you guys about him later, but. So kind of find out Dookie Chase is actually closed on Mondays and it's Monday. So we just got dropped off by our, by our Uber and uh, hubby say we in the hood. Um, I don't know that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but mm, I don't know, man. <laughs> Our Uber guy just dropped us off and I'm like, oh man, I was so excited. But he gave us a place that he thinks we should try. My husband got the paper. We'll see if we end up there or if we go someplace else, but we were so excited, oh man. Okay guys, so like I just told you guys, Dookie Chase was closed, but the lady who was standing out there told us about a place called Willie Mays. Look at this line for Willie Mays. Um, I think we're gonna do this. We gotta see how long this wait is. Wait, who's these folks around? Okay, yeah, we about to find out. <laughs> it's way too invested to give up now. Why? <laughs> <laughs> he loves me, so he's waiting. But it's chicken. That'd be good. Again. <laughs> it been. So we finally made it inside. I'm going to show you guys the food once we actually get it. The wait was ridiculous. 
Hopefully it's worth the wait. You guys will see. Wait okay, so, so long here. for this. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to, I was scared to say something. I didn't want him to take my food. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, as a matter of fact, this ain't even yours. <laughs> Look at this happy man, finally getting ready. Finally. This is the longest we ever waited. He complaining, 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 and then he says it's good. Wow. <laughs> so we're leaving Willie Mays. Listen. <laughs> that food was so doggone good. Now, they say that this is the world's best fried chicken. I mean, it might be. <laughs> it might be. It was so good. Oh my goodness, Don't everything lie. they had. Look at the line. Yeah. Look at the line. Everything they had was delicious. Hubby had the, the yams, black eyed peas, macaroni and cheese. The macaroni and cheese was spicy, and that was a nice touch. Um, my green beans was spicy, nice touch. The chicken was well, I mean, well seasoned. It is the best fried chicken I ever had. Anyway, we're waiting on our Uber. There's so many hungry folks in the line. I can't say enough good things about Willie Mays. Awesome. Now, as you see, it's in, you know what I'm saying? It's in a, uh, a questionable part of town. But girl, <laughs> it's worth it. It is worth it. Bro, look at this line. The line got worse since we left. It wasn't this bad when we were there, but the line, oh my goodness. It's rows and rows deep. It's worth it though, low key. Maybe high key. the red velvet cheesecake that I got from Willie Mays. Willie Mays? Willie Mays. <laughs> About to make me a little green tea with it. Love you too, baby. We done made ourselves a, a makeshift coffee shop. Hey guys, so I am back and this is the end of day three. Going to Willie Mays was a success. We thought we was gonna go to, what was the place called? I keep messing it up, Doogie, <laughs> Doogie something. And uh, that didn't work out, but this place ended up being really, really good and we we're really happy that we went. We had such a good time. Once we finally got in there and tasted the food, it was well worth the wait. And so I'm gonna end the vlog here. And the next time you guys see me, it'll be tomorrow, which will be day four in New Orleans and also uh, New Year's Eve, which is also my daddy's birthday. Hey guys, and welcome to my fourth video here in New Orleans. I'm in the like, common area down here. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like down here. This is what we can see from our balcony. This area here, which is really beautiful. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. If you guys can see that, it's beautiful. Not a cloud in the sky today. But today we're gonna be going back to try that restaurant that Beyonce went to. We're gonna try a second time. Hopefully this second time is a charm. And then we're also going to possibly get some beignets. We'll see, we've already done Cafe Du Monde, but I definitely wanted to do it again. And we'll see what else. We also have a reservation for tonight for a place for dinner called Luke's. So we'll see how that goes as well. But hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. This is the final day for the vlog. And happy new year. Happy birthday to my daddy who is celebrating his birthday today in heaven. Uh, if you guys have a parent that's also not with you, just know that they're kind of with you in your heart. That's how I feel. This is the first time that I haven't like been sad all day for his birthday or cried for his birthday because instead of mourning, I'm like celebrating his life. All right, so we're trying again at Dookie Chase's. It has been established since 1941. Uh, we know Beyonce went here, but we also heard from our Uber driver that uh, President Obama was here as well. So we're in the line. We did make it inside of Dookie Chase. Um, the line was nowhere near what it was for Willie Mays. This is the line for this. Just a few people ahead of us. So we're about to go in there. And I'll let you guys know what we think.
sure if you guys can hear me, but we just had the gumbo here, had a cup of it. Good. Now I'm getting ready to go outside and see what's going on with the parade. You guys are gonna come with us. later we just left the parade <laughs> one of us is better than the other <laughs> and this is what I have so there's that and we got cups and stuff too so much fun oh I did not know it'd be that much fun screaming for B we've been in a couple of Ubers and they've all told us not to go to Bourbon Street tonight on New Year's and since we've been here we've been listening to all New Orleans music BG and juvenile and there was a lyric and juvenile song how huh, where he says you came in the north your new year's eve huh you got stuck in there couldn't leave huh it was hard for you to breathe huh i don't want that to be us so i'm thinking about getting an alternative home for new year's but to find out i don't know you guys will have to see do you think we went down to bourbon street on new year's are we crazy <laughs> from dinner with hubby we had a really good time we went to a place called luke's which is really close to where we're staying we were so excited about all our little beads and stuff like that we had to share our collection with our kids and they're excited about their beads as well it's i want to say almost 10 30 or 11 o'clock we're going to be counting down the floor de leaf <laughs> the floor de leaf drop that's going to be here in new orleans we're going to be counting that down with the girls and just you know enjoying ourselves and having a good time together hope you guys enjoyed this new orleans vlog and i'll see you guys in the next one till next time later divas and dudes this is honey <laughs>